to the Trios Gaming Podcast. I'm your host, SK. Hey, this your girl, Mo, a.k.a. Crazy B 2020. Boy King Rhino, 27. Be back. We're back. Sorry for the fucking hiatus, but we back over here doing this thing. Let's go. Yeah, man. We took a couple weeks off, but we back. Y'all know how this go, man. It's the Trios Podcast, man. The gaming podcast. We talk about games, everything gaming, whatever we feel like talking about with games. So we're going to get right into it, man, starting it off, man. A lot of news been coming out over the last few weeks that we've been missing. So, you know, we're going to try to hit a little bit and then, you know, leave some stuff below in the topics. If y'all got some y'all want us to cover that we didn't cover. But first off, it is Saturday. So welcome back, guys. How y'all feeling today, man? It's been a been a long day. Been, been, I've been doing I've Go been ahead, Reno. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in doing real. I'm in. It's been a chill last Saturday. Got some cooking done and played played a little bit Overwatch. Was about the stream, but time got out of my hand. But yeah, other than that, we'll have a good ass stream with Among Us tonight. Oh yeah, and man, about to do that. Be a good ass time. Get your drinks ready. <laughs> I had a pretty good Saturday. Um, it was it was very productive. I got a lot of. Um, Fall shopping done because it's cold as hell where I am. It is so, cold, man. I had to knock that out. Yeah, it's it's getting chilly, so I had to knock that out. So that was fun. Hey, it's been a pretty cool day, yeah. man. I didn't get the stream. I got to watch CJ though. CJ did a pop up stream today, so checked him out. Watched some Call of Duty for a little bit. Went and support him. And um, Mo, you streamed today too. Got to watch you, and you got a win. Unfortunately, didn't get to see the win, but they was in there smacking some shit. Um, it's smacking some shit. So yeah, I'm ready to get I my gaming on. Rest- I'm ready to get my gaming <laughs> on, man. Everybody else been gaming all day. I want a game too, so I'm ready to get my gaming on today. I don't think I would like to add. I would like but, to add. If you if you can't um if you can't get your free order for uh your Xbox Series X, get the controller. Get your controller. Those controllers, those three three new controllers are beautiful, and they're compatible with the Xbox One too. So. It's a little said, bit away, a little bit of treat before you get the get the whole system. You said three new controllers? They got different variations. Yeah, three, I mean three color. Three new ah, colors. three colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they got? Just blue. I said they got the blue, blue is white. They got shock blue. They got um shock blue. White and black and, and black. I only know shock blue because I had to go get the shock blue because hey, it what was calling my name. What a gang gang game, man. We ain't got no red controller yet. Nah. Red one, man. <laughs> I need, I need the red Xbox Series X controller, man. I haven't seen the words. It'll be the fire. Can I have yours? Uh, can I have your Carmen that you, know, that you never played? Can I can I have it, though? We can, <laughs> we can shows that you haven't you actually haven't even opened or played with yet. I've played with it, man. It's I play with it when I play with Terion. When when Terion, you can't really see it, because when Terion plays, I play with my Galaxy controller. It's all colorful and i don't like to touch it man it just sits there it sits there and looks nice that's it i don't, I don't like to touch it Play that shit. Break it in. i'm gonna use it, man one of these days i'm gonna use it. but yeah xbox series x controllers are compatible with the xbox x that's good to know playstation unfortunately i don't know what you guys are doing but <laughs> <laughs> But let's get into it, man. Let's get in. Let's get into some knowledge, man. I want to know some new stuff, Mo. Me, you were talking about uh, some of the Apex stuff with the season being pushed forward or backwards, one of the two, and new characters coming from Titanfall. So, I know you remember. You remember? Did you have Titanfall? You had Titanfall one or two? Yeah, yeah Titanfall. Was, Titanfall was a cool game. It just didn't reach its potential, though. I think it reached its potential. I just don't think. I think it went under the radar. Yeah, and it, yeah, and it get, and I mean, I mean, and it get big. Yeah, it did. It was a good game, though. It was fun, but it was <clears throat> there was no campaign. That's what it was too. Two had a campaign. Yeah, I didn't really. And the campaign was hard too, and that's why I was like, that game didn't. It went under the radar, man. Especially when two. I guess people were so set on number one being like all multiplayer, and it was still dope. But without the campaign, and then when two came out, I was like, okay, it's pretty probably gonna be the same thing. Which it they made it, it was, didn't they make it free to play for a minute? I think they did. It was man, two is intense. That game is so intense. If you want to get into a play a game that got constant action, 
play Titanfall 2, man. It's still one of them games you can revisit and, and play. That's why I said if they put it on the Xbox Series X, I'm definitely getting it again. But one of the characters, um, Ash, right? I said it right. It's Ash. It's Ash, Mom. Yep, Ash. Okay, Ash is coming over to Apex. So I don't remember Ash from the story. I got to go back in. in... Well, that that. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, because no, I'm because it's like that's that has been like one of the biggest like rumors for Apex, only because like when we were doing the the um quest mm -hmm. like it was parts of ash's body that you had to put together so everybody was like okay who's gonna be the new character right and then boom it's like it's not her it's this other chick but i'm really i don't know that's what apex does though like apex makes you think that they want they steer you in the direction of giving you the hopes and dreams of okay ash is coming because this was like season five and I want to say they have put some little stuff in there like season six now to where they put her in the comics. So mm -hmm. it's like, OK, now she's in the comics, but now she's actually talking. We don't know where she came from, but, you know, like rumor has it Pathfinder found her. I don't know if Pathfinder and her had the same creator, but, you know, she was at Pathfinder's house in the comic book. So it's like, OK, I was thinking Ash was coming this season. But really, when you go to the shooting range on apex and it's like this little screen it's a chick that pops up and she looks nothing like ash so i don't know it's it's confusing okay, okay you said a couple things that, just like now that, you said a couple things that i want to that i want to catch up on because once again i'm just now getting back into apex but all of the knowledge is very interesting so the first thing you said is her and pathfinder may have the same creator right yep Pathfinder, okay, Pathfinder. Now think back. Pathfinder is the Now, answer. I don't know Titanfall very well. Right. That's crazy. That's yep. crazy. Because she's supposed to be like human slash woman slash, okay. Okay, I get it. And what season, What this is season seven that's about to come out. Now, tell that's me about, out, yep. tell me about, you mentioned uh, before we started the podcast, you talked a little bit about the comic books. Like, I want to know about the comic books because what a lot of people don't get that haven't played Apex or probably just looking into playing it, Apex has like this storyline to it that they're fighting in like these games, right? So tell us about mm -hmm. the, the comic book stuff coming for season seven, because that's what I'm interested in. That's why I think I'm really going to go hard on season seven. Well, now the comic books are here now. Like, well, oh, okay, so like out. when you play, yeah, they're here. But it's, okay, so like a lot of people don't pick those up, but like when you open up a, a loot box, Mm -hmm. it'll be a little chest that falls out now right. you, you can pick it up it's not you're necessarily not picking it up but you're just getting it and then when you go into your season you'll have like a quest it's up there and then they'll tell you like hey you just picked up the next chapter to this comic book so like when i had read the last comic book you have to keep picking up those chests to get the next chapter of mm -hmm. the comic book so yeah, it's like it's like a story in a story. Yeah, it's like we really don't them. know who the characters are it's in like Apex. Like we have some type of storyline behind them. Yeah, yeah, like everybody has a storyline, but we really don't know where they came from. Like with Loba and Revenant, Revenant killed Loba's dad. You know what I'm saying? And Loba, right. you know, she came and she was a character. So it's just it's it's a lot of storylines but I feel like they all come together. So that's why I was really excited to like actually read the comic books to kind of figure out where Ash came from and how she was made and how she was created just like Loba had her story. Yeah. When her dad was murdered and Revenant murdered her dad. So it's like everybody has their own storyline. But the comic book I feel like okay. they're kind of getting veering towards either the new character or how Ash was created. Okay. So season season seven about to be something to play. That that's what it sounds like. I'm about to get in tune. I know it's I'm a lot. In, yeah, I'm about to get in tune. <laughs> it's a lot going on, but you know what? That's you supposed to be like that when you coming from season one. So it's like we I right. think we dropped off too early, man. That's why I'm like, damn, I don't miss so much. So now getting into it is is just crazy. But I'm gonna dedicate myself. I'm gonna dedicate myself to Apex or season right. seven. So we'll yeah, we'll really grind hard just to get them characters. Yeah, you gotta that's grind. Hilarious, yeah. or buy them. I mean, I don't buy them. You know, I got low, but that's all I need is thick thighs. I'm cool with thick thighs. Them thighs is thick. Mm -hmm. Scrum <laughs> just 
I'm, <laughs> that's all I needed was Loba. I wish it was a third person mode so I can just look from okay. Loba is not even a Stephanie else. anymore. I just feel like they put her on there just for her looks. So hey, like when Loba first like came it. out, everything what's her specialty? Just for her looks, like it's got the proven, ring. like even Apex. Huh? No, you, he, he said, what's her, what's, her, what's her moves? Or what's her specialties? Or what's her loadout? She got the black market. Come on now. The black My market is pretty dope. Oh, no, I'm talking about Lobos. Yes, she, she got the black market. Then she got the little okay. teleportation ring she can throw and, and teleport to wherever. Yeah, she has the little wristlet. Mm. Almost so she like, can pretty um, much teleport. Yeah. Yes. Kind of kind of sounds like this um, character on Overwatch called Sombra. She always has this little translocator and she throws it and he could just teleport Teleport in. there. Yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah. And she's a thief. Well, she's known for yeah, she's no, a thief. Exactly. She, yeah. She's a hacker. <laughs> she can steal Same my thing. heart any day. That's funny. Game, game art. Right. See why you I say gaming, gaming almost like they take ideas from everybody else. Because, yeah, each, I think each I think platform, all, each, yeah. each, you know, Right. Uh, sorry. Yeah, we won't get on Fortnite. They the thieveries of people, <laughs> you know. But shout out to them because they still got a lot of people playing it. My son enjoys playing Fortnite. So hey, they make it a bill. Stuff. I ain't gonna lie, the Marvel hey. stuff that they got going on is crazy. I love the Marvel stuff. The Marvel stuff is bananas, but now it's been overshadowed with the Halloween stuff. So yeah, Marvel stuff is over. But yeah, speaking of that though, uh we are going into Halloween. So a lot of these games have been doing their their Halloween themed events yeah. events and i i like this man i don't know if it's really going so hard because we kind of in a pandemic or what but all the stuff that i've been playing with the fortnite ghouls the zombies the everything has just been it's been crazy i've been having a lot of fun with warzone and the warzone zombies so but yeah i think a lot more games i think they should continue to do this do the whole theme based and really go hard with the theme stuff like christmas easter you do that on yeah, you kind of do that on Overwatch. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get back on Minecraft mm -hmm. and go give me. A That's what makes it makes it it makes it playable, re repetitable to the play it because you look forward to those events. Yeah, especially and when you're on like earning like you right. this Halloween, like you know, pumpkin head man. Ain't nothing wrong with a pumpkin head. I want a. Pumpkin. You don't want a pumpkin head. You really don't. Those ah. headshots are gonna be so easy to get. That, that head is so big. Hey man, I be jackal. <laughs> Hey, speaking of Halloween, I know it's kind of off gaming, but y'all got any plans of, of dressing up? Anybody got getting some costumes? No? Hey. <laughs> I'm going to do a Halloween party for the kids. That's it, though. Yeah. Because here, the was canceled, so they're from the season, so that sucks. I'm pretty sure they're about to do that everywhere Yeah, that else sucks. Too. So I'm going to give them a Halloween party in there. That's what's up, man. We was thinking about doing it's some Halloween. counties, though. Some counties are still doing it. Are uh, they still? They haven't said anything for us yet, but I'm not taking my kids trick or treating. My kids ain't getting out there. Nope. We actually have right. a party for my little cousin, so right. that's going to be like the Halloween party thing. But we was thinking about doing okay. like a, a trunk or treat type deal, like have some of the parents pull up, decorate their trunks, and let the kids, because we got a little field across the street, let the kids come out. Get some candy. We still gonna be. That, so. right. It's gonna be a little pizza party. Yeah, yeah, a little pizza, little pizza <laughs> party, man. Bob, was, well, we ain't doing no Bob and Fab. There's too many germs. Too many goddamn germs. No Shout out to Fab. CJ. Shout out. Oh, nah, CJ talking <laughs> about man. That's a different subject, man. But yeah, but another thing in gaming news that I think is is pretty interesting is um, you know, the consoles are coming out. We're a few weeks away from these console releases, man. Pre-orders, you can't get a hold of them, so you better hope that the stores stock up on them, which you know they're not. But we got to see a couple of weeks ago the uh, actual visual of the PlayStation 5. And Shit. I've seen the visual of the Xbox, too. So how do y'all... Did y Everybody got a chance to see it. So how do y'all yeah. feel about the visuals of these next-gen consoles, man? That they, PS5 is huge. It's humongous, man. It's a big-ass console. Yeah, it's a <laughs> yeah, it's a that's, that's what it looks like. like. Huge ass <laughs> A lot of people ain't gonna look at their consoles. They are gonna put them behind some. Like I know mine's just gonna sit behind my TV or whatever. I'm not gonna look at it. But you know, some people got the visual aesthetic in their living rooms where like all my stuff is black or all my stuff is white. All my stuff is red. So I'm gonna sit it right here. That's kind of huge to just be sitting on the countertop, yo. Like that thing's humongous <laughs> just to be sitting. <laughs> They the said it's like the this, Asian it's, man's chest. 
Man, they saying they saying that it's the same weight as the uh, Xbox Series X. So same I, weight. It's the same weight. I don't know the so X. I don't think it's gonna mm. be heavy. The X is just it? looks it just looks a little bit more sleek and look like you can just sit it somewhere. Yeah, it's skinnier. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like a pillar, and you can sit like on your dresser or your night, wherever you're gonna sit. Oh, because so like I have mine. I have You said what? Sitting here, you cut out, Mo. No, you cut out. No, I was saying like it's. I like the new. I like the new design of the Xbox. Like yeah. I like the new design because like now I have the Xbox. I have the digital S one. So like I have to sit it under my nightstand, like my TV stand. Oh. Okay. But I don't know. It's just it's too long. But I like the fact that it's taller now, it and it's like not more so in like, width. Like a desktop, uh, desk, a desktop tower. That's what yeah, it, that's it, what it, it looks like me. a desktop tower. It really does, and it looks sleek. Like you, right? Can, that's what it looks like. Yeah, you just oh. sit I like there. that. Design. Hey man, hey I, Snoop Dogg. I, I like uh, the look of it now. I like the look. Hey Snoop Dogg got a uh, he got a refrigerator. The uh, Microsoft Cinema uh, Xbox Series X refrigerator, basically a big ass one, just like a refrigerator Repl- replica of the game. Because you know everybody was joking around saying that it looked like a mini fridge. Ah, uh, yeah, so he actually got the replica. Hey, I bet you I'm going to look crazy, <laughs> so I got to check that out. A refrigerator looking like an Xbox Series X. I'm hype, man. I'm hype. I'm ready to get my, I hope I hope I can get my hands on one. Like, if I can get my hands on one, I don't want nothing for my birthday. I don't want nothing for Christmas. I just want an Xbox Series X, and I got to give me a new gaming monitor. Other than that, I don't want nothing else, man. I got to get my hands on one. I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to let the little hype go down first. Yeah. I'm going to get one. I was thinking about it. Like, I'm going to be mad if I really try to get one and I can't get my hands on one. Yeah, it's going to make... Uh, I'm just like, dude, yeah, I really, I really want to grab one now. And then yeah, like, I think people are already probably pre-ordered. Like, they're going to be nowhere. Yeah, I hope I can get up to some available around Christmas time. This is gonna be like trying Please. to find Furbies, man. Y'all remember when people was trying to find Furbies? Uh, everybody. Take me on, man. Furbies, ah. Go to the Toys R Us out here. No, we ain't got them. We out. Well, people was fighting over Furbies, man. That's before some of y'all time. It was over there. Tickle me elmos. You know, tickle me elmos. Tickle me elmo too, too man. Mm. Didn't nobody find them. Okay. Okay. None of them. Like, they were sold out everywhere. Mm. I remember the toy brigades, all that stuff, man. I miss toy stores. I wish they bring toy stores back. <laughs> That that man going to play playing store, games now, video games now. That's what it is. Electronics is mm-hmm. taking over. A lot of kids you don't, don't even see them. the iconic ninety commercials of the uh, of the board games or the board games of like like we all talk about Crossfire. We still remember that Crossfire. My... That's my... I never had one. I always wanted one. Never got one. <laughs> Miss Crossfire, man. Miss Crossfire. <laughs> Battleship, man. I was hey, just gonna say battleship. Yeah. Battleship. Oh, don't wake daddy. Cool. A lot of people don't know. Don't wake daddy. I remember don't wake daddy. When you had to sneak trouble, man. Daddy, hit the button until daddy went. Uh, <laughs> trouble. Yeah. <laughs> we still kick board games around the house though. We got some of them newer ones though. We got the one where you put the thing in your mouth and you got to say the sentence and people got to tell see what it says. We got that. We got the pie one where you the little put the whipped cream on the hand. We got that. We always uh, keep Monopoly. You got to keep Monopoly around. Yeah, always, you got to have Monopoly. Always, so. yeah, oh, yeah, Monopoly gets time. dangerous. It gets real. You got to have Monopoly in life. In life, yep. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people didn't like playing life. I loved life. I love right. life. Especially when you play it right, the right way. You play right. it the right way. You right. Mean, that, that shit will last for a long time. But yeah. Right. Monopoly. You, you Don't nobody play Monopoly with me. It gets real aggressive in Monopoly. Okay. Land on my place. We ain't, uh, we ain't you, doing no let by. Never play the game. Game. Never play Uno. Uno either. I love Uno. Uno, Uno gets intense. Yeah, Uno. Uno does get intense. Did y'all have Uno attack with the thing that shoots the cards at you? That thing used to jack up all the time and shoot like 50 cards, the whole deck out. I miss Uno, man. We have a game. Never had Uno attack. It's game night. <laughs> but y'all got anything else, man? This has been a a pretty intense episode of some unknown knowledge that's just been discussed. I was playing. We had a good episode, though. Good episode? We did. We did. I think, I think it was a good Any, episode. Any um, games y'all looking forward to trying? You know what? I don't want to give away my, my streaming secret, 
but I guess I could throw it out there. It ain't really no biggie. So we all downloaded um Dead by Daylight. So I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna stream it. You know, all the guys we get on there play that, and I'm put. I got a little costume I'm gonna put on while I stream it. So that's that's gonna be my little Halloween streaming specialty. But right now, anything new that's coming out, I'm waiting on. Um, like I sent y'all the the trailer of uh Watch Dogs. I'm waiting on Watch Dogs to release end of the month next week. I'm getting Watch Dogs. I'm I'm looking forward to that. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not too. Okay. I'm not a fan of it. Not really a fan. Why not, man? It look cool, man. You could be anybody. Hey, if it makes you happy, it's all that matters, man. But I play one and two, bro. I gotta get three. Gotta get three. <laughs> gotta get three. What about you, Mo? You got, oh, you got any games that you looking forward to? Um, I'm thinking about slowly getting back into the division. That was like one of my games that I play really, really heavy. So I'm thinking about because I never finished the last one. So I'm thinking about getting back into that. I need another shooting game besides Call of Duty and Apex. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? What's wrong with the division? The division one was trash. <laughs> no, what? All of their bullets. <laughs> all of their bullets. All of their I'm literally bullets, I'm all that. soaking you with bullets, and all I'm getting is 29, 29, 29, 29. <laughs> Look. Look, it's you know not what? man. I, hold on, I ain't gonna go too hard on it because I heard two. I heard two, kind of, you know, what I'm saying two is a little better. I haven't played two, so I would, I would play two before I make it ultimate. You know, yeah. man, yeah, I'm play two. I'm gonna play the beta. Out. Yeah, I'm gonna try I'll play the beta prediction vision two if somebody try to hack my account. Hey man, that's oh, not wow. the game's fault. <laughs> 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 you said it's Can't leave it all like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ubisoft, man. Ubisoft, hey man. I know, but for yeah. real, I didn't know you played. I didn't know you played the Divi- Rhino. Didn't you have Division One with me? Didn't we both have Division One? Yeah. Well, I, I played both of them. Man, I had. I, I think it was on the. I don't know. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I played with you though because I can't remember who I played with. I, have, I was playing with somebody. I don't remember. We had a whole squad. It was fun. Don't get me wrong. It was new. It was a different type of feel with the whole RPG aspects, but. It didn't do enough. One one didn't do enough. Now I think two two may be kind of picking it up, just like uh, Titanfall. I think it, it's probably like the same type of deal. But I'm gonna try it out before I give my last results. Not, um, uh-huh. but yeah, y'all didn't know you put in Battlefield. I have to do my research. Battlefield. I love Battlefield was fun for me. I liked it. I love Battlefield. I think I had two. It was dope. I like Battlefield. You had bad companies. I just really didn't give it like a, a like I played like, it for a little bit and I'm best. like, okay, this is dope. Hmm. You had bad company too. What was the best one? That was the best what? one. Bad company too. Mm-hmm. Battlefield bad company too. No, I didn't hear that. Mm-mm. I used to like that more than Call of Duty. Yeah. I stepped mm-hmm. away from I stepped back to Call of Duty because Battlefield went to the whole old back in the day type weaponry when they went to battlefield one that's why i went back to call of duty other than that all the battlefields except for hardline and i like that i think that's why i like it what the the old school war the war war one yeah uh, you have the tanks and i think oh, that's what i like company. about it i'm getting tired See, of i it. have to do my research on bad company then Bad Company 2 was Two. lit, man. That was like one of the best ones ever. Man, when you when you stab somebody, you, you took their dog tag. You took their dog tag and the guns was dope. The rush mode, it was like it was like they made the map specifically for rush mode. And then it's like after two, they kind of went away from that. So the wars was a lot more heavy. So it was it was crazy, man. Battlefield is definitely one of my one of my supporters, gotcha. um, money, shout out to him. He plays Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. And I ain't going to lie, it, watching him play, it makes me want to get back into the, the Battlefield franchise. But I'm actually just waiting to see what the next one they release. Not this year, but 2022, I think, is the next their next Battlefield coming out. What up, I'm Dice? Gonna, yeah. What up, Dice? Hey, man, Dice is the shit, man. I love Dice. I, I was trying to, actually was trying to uh, get into uh, the Star Wars, uh, Battle, Star Wars Battlefield or uh, Battlefront. Mm-hmm. And um, I had actually stopped getting it because they did that pay to play shit, pay to yeah. pay to win, pay to win. 
they said it was gonna be a long ass grind. And I said, fuck that. His game was actually mm. fun itself, though. Yeah. Gameplay was fun. I played the beta and I heard that rumor and that just made me not want to get it. Well, I think we should definitely get into It'll it. Man. Right. I, I wouldn't mind going back to Battlefield. I wouldn't I mind might, yeah. touching back on anything. Nowadays, just streaming mm-hmm. everything, I touch a lot of stuff. I play a lot of games. So it's like, let's, let's, let's get it. We need to do some trios plays, man. So we can cuss at each other Bye, and yell and scream. Y'all got to hear more on Apex. Down. Can I help you? <laughs> no. <laughs> she a predator. She is a predator. <laughs> She, she too good. She, she, she too good for us. Guys. I swear, I tried not to. I can't help it. Hey, man. <laughs> I need to get on Overwatch to play with me. Yes, Rhino. We're going to get Overwatch very soon. I'm going to get Overwatch, yeah. man. Just so I can I play with so. you. I don't, I don't like your toe, man. No, I'm, I'm really going to get it, man. I'm stacking my, my catalog up right now. And Overwatch <laughs> is one of them games that I definitely want to, you know, dive back into. So. Yeah. Mo camera. Your, oh, camera, I'm gonna my breath. <laughs> your camera caught up with you. That was funny. It started moving you fast. He was like, I'm oh. <laughs> but let's get out of here, man. I think it's been a dope episode of the Trios <laughs> Gaming Podcast. Make sure y'all leave y'all topics down below. If there's anything gaming that y'all want to talk about with us, any games that y'all probably want us to play with y'all, hey man, let us know, man. We on Xbox, all of us on Xbox. Pro SKS on Xbox. Crazy Apex Lady on Xbox. Yes, yes, yes. King Rhino on Xbox. We all on the Xbox. 27. 27, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, man, shout out to the hashtag. You guys, that's the squad, man. We about to be streaming some Among Us. Um, so if you're watching this, this is an out chat. So if you're watching this, just go check out the VOD on Twitch. You can see it there. Um, yeah, man, everybody give out your social medias. Tell them where to find y'all at, bro. Find me at Sweet Soul Gaming on Instagram, and you can find me on Twitter, Sweet Soul Brother, at Sweet Soul Brock, the three at the end, bro. And and you can uh, find me on Xbox Live, King Rhino Twenty Seven. Nice. And I am the co-host. Get it off your chest, podcast. Thanks for the shout out. <laughs> Mo, tell them where they can find me. You can find me on Instagram. Yes, you can find me on Instagram at Crazy Apex Lady. You can also find me on Xbox Live at Crazy B2020. You can follow me on Twitter at Gamer Baddie. And you can also uh, check out dope gaming merchandise for women and men at the Gamer Baddie.myshopify.com. Dope merchandise for all gamers. Supporting women in the gaming community, and I got you know I got a little some some for the men too, but majority for women. She say that all the time. Yeah. I got some yeah. for the men. Yeah. Every time I got some for the men coming. Let's go, <laughs> man. Did. Make sure y'all go cop hey, some merch. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do. I do. Go cop some merch. Majority for women. Majority for women. <laughs> go cop some of that merch. Make sure y'all go check it out. Go cop that merch. Um, yes, me, yes. Game in Heaven 100 everywhere. Whatever you put it in, it'll pop something up. Just put in Game in Heaven 100, man. Come holler at us, man. Check out our streams on Twitch. All of us stream. Check us out. Hang with us. We really support the community. So, you know, we out here, man. But this has been another episode, episode three of the Trios, man. Gaming Podcast. I'm your host, SK, along with my co host, King Rhino 27. Yes. <laughs> Crazy B 2020. And we out of here, y'all. Peace. Bye.